Before the gold rush, California did not have a large population. In addition to the California Indians, only about 15,000 settlers called California home. That is until 1848, the year gold was first discovered in California. Suddenly, people began moving to California from across the United States and around the world, hoping to strike it rich. Many immigrants came from Mexico, Peru, Chile, countries all over Europe, and even as far away as countries in Asia. By 1852, California's population had grown to almost 260,000. As time passed, the Chinese became one of the largest groups of immigrants in California. Their lives, like the lives of most immigrants in California at the time, were not easy. Mexican families also faced similar struggles. Many lost their land to squatters. A squatter is a person who settles on land he or she does not own. If squatters stayed long enough, they could actually claim rights to someone's land. Though many immigrants had come to California to find work, jobs were hard to find. Many employers treated immigrants unfairly, making them work long hours for very little pay. In 1867, 2,000 Chinese railroad workers went on an unsuccessful strike. A strike means they refused to do their jobs until their demands were met. Some Californians didn't want to compete with immigrants for jobs or gold. New laws were passed that made it harder for immigrants to succeed. In 1882, the United States passed the Chinese Exclusion Act, which changed immigration for the next 60 years. Exclusion is the act of keeping something or someone out. The Chinese Exclusion Act stopped Chinese workers from coming to the United States. It was the first law limiting immigration to the United States. Although it was only supposed to last for 10 years, it lasted until 1943. The immigration officials were trained to tr expose any fraud that they thought was going on. They were, they were looking at each case to exclude, not to admit. Still, the Chinese and other immigrant groups were determined to make life in the United States a success. Immigrants from all over the world have gone on to help make California the great state it is today. I like to think of it as how we've grown as a society, how we've improved. I like to focus on that, you know, this is how it was. Racism existed and it went so far as to be legislated. But, you know, we can be, you know, uh, culturally sensitive now and prevent that from happening again.